Today on Two Crazy Ketos, we're gonna show you how to make electrolyte ice pops. And we will show you how to make this frosty treat right, right after, after this. this. Hey, what's up family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like product reviews, we do recipe videos, we talk about various keto topics, and then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we also have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com, and that's where you're gonna find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon, and that way, Every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Yeah. So today we're going to show you how to make electrolyte ice drops. Because electrolytes are very important. Yeah, they're very important on the keto diet, but some of the ways that we get our electrolytes can be a little expensive and sometimes they're not so tasty. P.S. I like frosty treats. Yeah. So if we can combine electrolytes and frosty treats, I'm on board. Yep. Now here's the thing. Not only is this going to be a good like frosty treat or ice pop treat, but it's also gonna be a very inexpensive way to get your electrolytes while still having it taste good. And it's portable. Yeah, because some, let's go over some of the ways we get our electrolytes right now. We use Zip Fizz, mm -hmm. right? That's about a dollar to a dollar 25 per tube. Now Zip Fizz does, it's kind of the exception to the rule because it is tasty. It is so good. It isn't super expensive and you get a tremendous amount of potassium with it. I think it's like 900 milligrams of potassium. It will turn your frown upside down. Yeah. Now you can also compare that to a certain uh, person's electrolyte powder that's out there, mm -hmm. which the Zip Fizz is cheaper than that and pretty much gives you close to the same amount of potassium, but it gives you a lot more of all the other electrolytes where that particular person's electrolyte powder only gives you potassium really and not a lot of the other stuff. You're not going to mention who I'm not going to mention is. who it is, but, but just saying, like Zip Fizz is kind of the exception, but another way we get it is things like Ultima. Ultima. Right? Or just using our Keto Chow Drops, but on their own, not super tasty, although this is our primary way to get our electrolytes now. Because I can just squirt it and go. Yep. And then people, pickle juice. Pickle juice. Which, um, not a super big fan of just eating a pickle juice ice pop or drinking pickle juice. Like pickles, don't like the juice so much. We did review it though. Yes, we did. You should put a link. Yeah, I'll put a link for that right over Rachel's head for that review. Because that was at least fun. Yep, and the other way a lot of people do is Powerade. And Powerade can be a little expensive, right? The Powerade Zero, I know you can get them for like, what, 88 cents, 99 cents at Walmart or mm -hmm. something like that. Yeah. But here's the thing, Powerade gives you like nothing. There, there's no sense in even drinking Powerade. If you're drinking Powerade, for the electrolytes, stop wasting your money. I actually have a little sheet here. I broke it all down. Should I go over that right now? Yes, absolutely. So just to give you an idea, a 32 ounce bottle of Powerade gives you 150 milligrams of sodium. Okay. So it gives you a little bit of salt. It gives you 100 milligrams of potassium and eight milligrams of magnesium. Eight. Eight, eight milligrams of magnesium. Just to compare a pickle pop, like right. that, that a, a pickle pop that we reviewed, 300 milligrams of sodium, 70 milligrams of potassium, 2% of magnesium, which is about eight milligrams. So, I mean, you're pretty much drinking the Powerade Zero for the flavor. Yep. Now, we're gonna compare that because we're going to use to make these, we're gonna use the Keto Chow Electrolyte Drops. Now, if you haven't used these, these are incredible. I know Dr. Barry talks about them all the time. A lot of times I just squirt them in my mouth. I've even given them to players on the field when I've been out on the field and I see kids cramping, I tell them just squirt some of this in your mouth. Yeah. So, one serving of this, which is a half of a teaspoon, is going to be give you 250 milligrams of sodium. Wow. 250 milligrams, and again, 32 ounce bottle of Powerade, 150 milligrams, 260 milligrams of potassium, and 90 milligrams of magnesium. So like you're double the oh sodium, goodness. double the potassium, and like who knows how much, what is that, like 10 times the magnesium? And you can put it into anything. And you know how much, if you buy it in this bottle, you know how much the serving is? It's like 18 cents. That's even cheaper, yep. way cheaper. 
So let's get into how to make these ice pops. Yes. Okay, so we're going to use this Everly drink mix. Because they're delicious and just add some flavor. Yeah, so if you haven't seen, we've done a review on this. I'm gonna leave that link right over Rachel's head. And this is our new way to flavor our water when we want something other than just water. Because sometimes you do. Yeah, so we're using it in place of where you would normally use like Mio, Crystal Light, that kind of stuff, because it's better ingredients. Yeah. And it's erythritol and stevia so you don't even have to worry about any of the other kind of like you know sweeteners that may be kind of questionable for you yeah and we want to keep the carbs low yep and then for electrolytes we're going to use keto chow electrolyte drops because they're action-packed and they're pretty inexpensive yeah okay and if you do want to get these again i have a link down in the description along with the coupon code of two crazy ketos that'll get you 10 percent off yep okay so the other thing that you're going to need is some ice pop things and we got these on amazon <clears throat> big giant bag of them. So, <clears throat> excuse me. We got these on Amazon. This is how they come. And it was $7.99 for 150 of them. Which I think is pretty so that works reasonable. Out, yeah, that works out like five cents a tube. Because when we used to get the flavor ice for the kids back like before keto, we paid like three dollars or three fifty for like a hundred of those. Yeah. And that was just sugar water. Yep. Now along with that, it does come with this little like funnel. How cute. So is that, that you can fill these. Or it goes that way. And then for the life of me, I couldn't figure out what the heck these were. Because there's like a hole in here. I'll I don't tell know you what, what they are. What is it for? They're grips so that if it's too cold. Well, I thought it that. Won't bother but you. this is not fit inside of that. You've got to probably put it in before you put the liquid in. No, because it's it's on the bottom. Look, it's only open on one side. That makes no sense. I'm thinking like grab it like this. Oh, maybe. That's what I don't know. Anybody have any idea of actually how you're supposed to use these? It's it's a it's a nose warmer for Pinocchio. <laughs> okay, well let's let's put these to the side. So that's what we're gonna need. I'll leave a link for these down in the description. Again, I got them on Amazon. There's tons of them. I searched until I found the best price. Yeah. This okay. Is good. They're cute. Okay. So now what we're gonna use is I've got a uh, this is actually a Watch Autumn Keto bottle. Hey Autumn. Okay. So we've got in here 12 ounces of water because 12 ounces of water is going to make exactly three of these pops. All right. Okay. So in there, we've got a teaspoon here. We're going to put one serving of this drink mix. Okay. Do you want to do that? Or you want Absolutely. Me to do it? Take the top. We've never used that flavor, so. Unscrew it. There you go. Okay. So just do one serving of that. I'll hold it. And again, this is a little bit more than a serving, so don't quite fill it up. Okay. You could probably put a little more in there. There you go. Perfect. Except for let's take the top off or we're going to dump. Why are we trying to dump it through that little hole when we can just do it this we way? We like to make things difficult. Difficult. Okay. So we got that in there. Mmm, it smells good. Then, it smells very pink lemonade-y. Oh, that does smell good. Okay, good so this is actually a brand new bottle. I've got an open bottle here. It just doesn't look as pretty, so that's why we weren't using it. We're going to do, why, we got to put this in there. What are you doing? Why'd you put the lid back on? Well, that I think you could squirt in pretty okay, good. Okay, well, normally I would just squirt it in. Yeah. Okay, but we're actually going to do a double serving of this. Now, if you, that's a little bit too salty for you, which I don't think it is, uh, you could do a single serving, but we're going to do a double serving. Okay, now, if you do a double serving in just plain water, it just has a slight salt taste. So since, considering we've got flavorings in here, you should be really good. Yeah. So okay. now we shake it. We're going to shake. It's a Watch Autumn Keto one, so we got to shake this good. Okay. All right, you ready? Okay, I'm going to grab these things. Go ahead. In three, two, one. Shake it like Watch Autumn Keto. I love her. I do too. She's the bomb. Doesn't like make it too uh, like pink. No. I'm surprised. All right. Okay, are you ready? I think it's good and shaken. So it's a little foamy in there, so we probably should let it calm down. But you want to put this in there? We're got, we've got these three things here now, and all we're gonna do is fill them up. The biggest problem that I found with these is trying to open them up. Yes. Originally, the Ziploc zipper. They on are here, zipped tight. I mean, it's on there. Yeah. Okay, so now all we're gonna do is we're going to fill them up, and there's like a little fill line right here. All right. I know this 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 video is actually falling into like one of Chris's keto chub videos of like why are you making this video? 
how to pour liquid into an ice pop container. We'll screw it up. We'll find a way. <laughs> okay, so then you can see here, there's like a little like zipper on it, like just like a Ziploc bag. But then once it's zipped, it It zips. does not, yeah, it's not coming anywhere. It's a good thing that actually didn't open up. That would have been bad. <laughs> okay, so let's do two more. Fun. I mean, it's definitely something you could do with like the kids. It'd be a fun project for the kids. Yeah, they would just enjoy making them. And a little bit dripping out of the top. Oops, sorry. We are filling these things up. And uh, then they enjoy like the treat that they've made. Because kids need electrolytes too. Okay, so take that. Now here's what I like about these, is not only are these gonna meet a freezer pop, because we're gonna go stick them in the freezer and let them freeze, but you can take these on the road because you can always just drink it. So you have a little portable ice pop. Yeah. Okay, so now those are gonna go in the freezer, but to shorten this video and so that we didn't have to do 24 hours, we actually have we some. We made three. We made three. I actually, now there is a little like rip thing here if you can see there, so that you could rip this open. But, but I'm just gonna scissors. use my scissors. Cause like flavor ice, right? Like you gotta go old school on this one. There you go. Oh. Thank you, sir. You ready? Yeah. Are you biting it? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Those came out good. Those are delicious. Wow. Sweet and salty, mm -hmm. just enough. A little push pop. It's delicious. These are really good. So um, our little treat, our little snack, is is working for us. Yep. Because we're going to use this to get our electrolytes, but it's also tasty. Yeah. So let's break this down. I'll let you do. I'm gonna put mine over here. Okay. Oh, you actually have coffee in that cup. Oh well. Wow. Well now there's that in there. Okay. So again, I have Ice my coffee. little spreadsheet that I wrote out. So doing it the way we did it, we're using a teaspoon of our Everly and a teaspoon of the electrolyte drops, which is a double serving of the electrolyte drops because okay. the serving is actually half a teaspoon. Along with this, mm -hmm. it's costing you 76 cents to make, I'm sorry, without these, it's 76 cents to make three pops. Just the beverage. Just the beverage. So that's gonna work out to be 25 cents per pop. Mm -hmm. And then five cents for this, so 30 cents a pop. Nice. Each one of those pops is giving you 84 milligrams of sodium, 87 milligrams of potassium, and 30 milligrams of magnesium. Plus they're fun. So now compare that to a bottle of Powerade, which is giving you more sodium at 100 milligrams of sodium, but 100 milligrams of potassium, eight milligrams of magnesium. Wow. So you're almost, you're very close to the potassium and like magnesium, you're through the roof with these. Wow. And they're kind of fun. They're and again, like fun. I said, if they defrost, you can kind of take them with you. Yeah. It's just a fun way. I wanted to compare it to a pickle ice though, because pickle ices are like a dollar. Yeah. And a, a pickle ice is 300 milligrams of sodium because pickles have a lot of salt in right. it. There's like water everywhere right now. <laughs> 70 milligrams of potassium and eight milligrams of magnesium. So these actually have more potassium, which is the one that I'm always worried about the most. And you can flavor them yourself because I mean, if you don't want to use the Everly, you can just use, I mean. You can use, you can you can even use a Zip Fizz. Absolutely. You can use Zip Fizz. You could use um, your Ultima. Keto Vitals, the Ultima. If you don't mind things like Crystal Light and stuff like that, you can just use Crystal Light. The key is the electrolyte drops. That's yeah. the key. Now I did want to, although this is not an electrolyte pump, I kind of wanted to show you something else you can do when you do invest in these. Okay. And that is this. What is that? Wait till you taste what I've done here with this. What is that? It looks like pudding. See if you can figure that out. Oh my gosh, it's keto chow. It's keto chow and an ice pop. No freaking way. Now here's the best part. Rachel loves to make her keto chow last a lot longer. So she usually takes her cup like what? this 
good. And she freezes it and then like slowly lets it defrost and, and defrost and spoons it out. Can I try this, please? Oh my gosh. It does it make three of them? Better than that. One keto chow cup yeah. makes five of these. No! No! Mm -hmm. Oh, this is why you don't tell me stuff, isn't it? No, because they've been in the freezer for a couple of days. If I would have told you what was in there, you would have been eating them. Oh, man, I would have eaten those. Yes. So, but what a great way to slow down your keto. To, now, don't eat them throughout the day because then you're kind of like spiking your insulin constantly. Yeah. The day. But it'd be nice if, hey, I want to, like me, this thing lasts me like less than two minutes. You want to take a little bit long, maybe take a half hour to an hour to eat your keto chow. Keto chow ice pops. Oh, you need to hand this to me. Yes. <laughs> I need to eat my, you know, drink my electrolytes, but like keto chow. <laughs> well, that's your lunch. Mm. Well, that is our video for today. Let us know down in the comments section what some of the different flavorings you would use to make some electrolyte ice pops with. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited right now. If you like what you saw, do us a favor, hit that like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon. And that way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time. Bye. bye.